afternoon, YouTubers. Joe here driving home from Chattanooga to Dalton, Georgia on a unsuspecting snowy Friday afternoon. Uh, I wouldn't have even bothered coming to work today if I knew this was going to happen. That's what I get from never turning on a TV and watching the news. Um, so I'm about 30 miles out from home and I'm hearing the further south I go towards Atlanta, the worse this is going to get. Um, to you folks in other states are probably laughing at what the problem is, but here's the deal. No one goes out and sprays anything on the road beforehand here, okay? So there's nothing on the road. So all we gotta do is have just a little bit of freezing temperature and this little bit of precipitation will turn to a sliding ice ass mess. Uh, that's how we roll here in Georgia. We wait until after the fact. Um, I'm noting just a little bit of accumulation and slush kind of in the, uh, on the uh, little slotted lines, but it's mostly just wet right now, so we must be a little bit above temperature. But today I'm driving the 2000 Ford Excursion. I figured this would be the appropriate vehicle to drive home in this weather today. I'll do a walk around video on this car tomorrow, but uh, we picked this baby up at, oh, guess where? The auction. Um, and uh, it's a big V10 Eddie Bauer excursion. Uh, 6.8 liters of brute force. I mean, look at these mirrors. It's uh, that kind of cranberry red color. It's a beautiful truck. Uh, the paint's lovely. Uh, the interior's really nice for its age. Uh, it's super, super clean. I mean, look at this wood on here. Man, that stuff has never been scratched up. The carpets are pretty. Uh, got a little wear on the steering wheel, of course. It's got 185,000 miles. But of course, you know, I can't buy a car without some kind of warning light on. So there is an ABS light on. Uh, we do have that. Um, it's got your typical, I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but it has the... Watch out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Okay. It has the very common uh, uh, exhaust manifold leak on the driver's side exhaust. Uh, apparently that happens on these V10. Um, the uh, studs uh, that hold the exhaust manifold on, they, they break. And that's what has happened. I got down there and I was going to try and fix the darn thing. But uh, it's got two broken studs right in the very back. So I'm going to have to pay somebody to do that because I can't do it myself. But, um, but yeah, I've got to get that exhaust leak fixed. The ABS, I'm not really worried about. The truck brakes perfectly. Um, but when I do a walk around video of this truck later... <laughs> It is, um, I've got a little surprise for you because the truck is absolutely beautiful all the way around. But uh, we discovered something after we bought the truck that you don't notice unless you, uh, under closer inspection, you will find the disaster. Um, but anyway, I won't video much more if uh, I get some more snow here accumulating. Looks like it's getting a little more on the ground as I head south. I'll uh, take some more video, but uh, anyway, yeah, I'm kind of cruising along right here at about 75 miles an hour. No problems, no problems at all. So let's hope it stays that way. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.